All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hyrule, and today we're talking about Marvel's Avengers. So, the latest news with Marvel's Avengers, guys, not Game Pass, not any of that stuff, is that Tachyon Surge has been nerfed, right? So, for anyone who's been in the know since Thursday, it seems like as part of that patch, which was 2.0.3, Tachyon Surge was nerfed. And, and to some people, not just nerfed, but kind of nuked into the sun at this point, right? And the way that it happened is that on Thursday, we got this big patch, and the patch notes were very kind of sparse you know there wasn't really a lot of things there and unfortunately when that happens it seems like the community has to go into csi marvel's avengers mode and figure out exactly what was changed now if i remember correctly and credit where credit's due on this one would be tony bang in his discord it seems like at that point they figured out that tachyon surge wasn't actually doing what it did prior to the patch right then andy came out and was like okay guys here's the update on discord and andy had said Update, Tachyon Surge perk had an unattended damage buff that caused it to increase all damage by 50% rather than only status damage as intended and indicated by the tooltip. This was fixed in patch 2.0.3 on Thursday. We're setting up more processes so we don't miss these impactful changes in future patch notes. Now, there's a few ways to break this down, right? And I'm looking at it as three different ways, right? The first one is that, okay, we do a lot of damage as it is. So the Tachyon Surge perk kind of being you know nerfed a little bit probably isn't the worst thing in the world, right? The second one is, is, okay, this perk has been in the game since last October, and now you're just touching it now. There needs to be a little bit of communication before you make these changes to let players know that a change like this is coming, or maybe even some open dialogue about a change like this in the first place, because players build their builds around some of these perks, right? And the three I, you know, kind of tell people about is Jarvis Barrier, Attacking on Surge, and Damage Buff, right? These are the ones that people really go for and hunt for, and because of that, I put them as, like, the trifecta of perks that you really need nowadays in marvel's avengers so because of that i think there has to be special consideration when it comes to these perks and what you're doing to them now the third one is that holy hell guys you need to communicate this a lot better right like you can't kind of stealth nerf things and then expect the community to find it because if the community has to find it they're going to be very upset even if they agree with the change itself right so let's go into the first school of thought here so the first school of thought is that we already do a bunch of damage as it is and there's multiple different ways to kind of buff your damage in the game currently so let's look at the five different ways that you can buff your damage prior to the patch on thursday which were damage buff Tachyon Surge, Potentiator, Nornstone and Lethal Will, as well as the battery damage and the status effects, right? That is five different ways that you can stack your damage. That's a lot of different ways that you can proc something in order to bring your damage up higher, right? So for me, when I look at the Tachyon Surge and I look at what they did, is that going to break the game? Is that going to break any of my characters? No, but there's multiple different ways to look at this as well, right? If you look at the Tachyon Surge perk and you look at the intended nerf that they wanted to do, are players really going to miss that? Probably not. It went from a must have perk to something you can get but not really farm targeted for right it's like okay if you get one you can slot it in now okay it's it's fine right but there's something to be said for what exactly happened with the perk now that since it's been nerfed is that it went from what Andy says they want to do for all damage to status damage to now it only does status build up right and because of that it went from must have to kind of okay to now it's worthless at this point right and now we have to wait to see if what they actually did with this patch was now the actual intended effect of that patch or if they just kind of borked it at that point, they have to rebork it in a different way to kind of bring it back in line with what Andy said is what they wanted it to do, right? So now there's kind of this unclarity of what exactly has happened with the update and the communication around that. Though I will say that off the top of my head, if the kind of the idea is that it only does status damage increase, it only buffs the status damage, it's not the worst thing in the world. And I will say that. So for me, if once again, if what they wanted to do is for status damage, not the worst thing in the world because we have many different ways to kind of boost our damage as it is. So because of that, tacking on surge and kind of what they did, not the end of the world. The second school of thought is that players have been used to tacking on surge since it came out last October. And because of that, players have built their builds around it. They've done multiple runs for it. They've kind of withered through as many layers of RNG as this game has in order to find the perfect rules of tacking on surge to kind of like power up their builds to the next level, right? And once again, I don't even think the change, the intended change that Andy said is that big of a deal went from a must need to perk to an okay perk, but there has to be a certain amount of consideration for the culture of your game when it comes to these things, right? So let's look at it this way, right? So once again, this perk came out last October, it's been buffing all this damage since then, and players built around it, right? So from Crystal Dynamics point of view, they have to take that into consideration when they make a sweeping change like this to something that I would consider a fundamental perk, right? 
And I think that's the problem right now is that you have Crystal Dynamics vision of the game and they build towards that. Then you have the lived experiences of the game that the players have to go through on a daily basis. And sometimes they are diametrically opposed to each other, right? Crystal wants to do one thing. The players are going to resist for it. And because of that, you get this butting heads. And I think Crystal, when it comes to these kind of changes that they're making, have to come out ahead of this and be like, hey, guys, next week or in a few weeks, we're looking at making a change to Tachyon Surge. Because of that, here's what it does. Here's what we want it to do. What do you guys think? Give us some feedback on this before we make a change. This is why multiple games have PTBs, right? You go there, you test some things out, you leave some feedback, and then they take that feedback into consideration before they make the patch live. Now, Avengers is probably never going to get a PTB, right? So in front of that, they have to kind of communicate some of these changes before they make them to get community feedback. Because at the end of the day, loot and the gear experience are what this game lives and dies on, right? We could talk about the cosmetics and so on and so forth, but if there's no real loot experience here to be had, then all you have is a Barbie simulator to run around with your favorite new costume in, right? And I think they have to take the community into consideration when making these changes and the culture that they built around some of these unintended consequences of what they've done with these perks, right? If they come out tomorrow and say Jarvis Barry is, is blocking too much damage, they have to change it. I would like them to kind of bring community in on the conversation first and foremost in order to get community feedback before they make these sweeping changes to these fundamental perks. Though I will say, once again, we probably do too much damage as it is, but once again, they should still probably bring in the community to talk about these things before they make these changes or they bring out a ptb and allow the community to test it beforehand now we can talk about the next school of thought here which is the holy hell you guys need to communicate this better right there's been a time and a place of marvel's avengers where their patch notes were super detailed and broke down a lot of the stuff that was changing with the game and unfortunately it seems like we're getting into this point again where like this patch was like okay guys various stability and improvements and it's like what do those even mean right i look at patch notes as a way of advertising the progress you're making on your game right and if you can't advertise the progress you're making on your game people aren't going to know the progress you're making right because then you can just be like okay guys this bug is still in the game yada yada when that bug actually may have been fixed right perfect example is that is that there was an inventory lag that was happening with the game itself People didn't know if that was changed with the patch, but evidently it was, right? That's something to advertise, right? The invisible walls. The invisible walls were fixed as well. At least for me, they were. If that's something you guys tackled in that patch, advertise that with the patch notes, right? We have to get back to the point that was prior, you know, many months ago, even with Wakanda, where you're able to advertise the things that you're changing in these patch notes, right? You got to look at other games that are posting patch notes, right? Detailed and well thought out. And, you know, I'm not even going to pick one. You can pick many at this point. Games that do transparent patch notes do better with their community. 100% I will always fight for that because you're giving them the information and the tools they need to go and, you know, assess the changes that you're making, right? If you're making a change, tell your community about it. It's not hard. It's not It's not something that's rocket science at this point. If you're changing something in your game that's going to impact players' builds, get ahead of it. Say, hey, guys, we're changing this. Here's what's going to happen. Let us know what you think. This has to be communicated. Tony Bing and his community shouldn't have to be CSI, right? Bottom line. I don't need a CSI in the community. I should have the developers outlining the changes that they made within the game, right? This era of secrecy around like certain changes, right? And we can go back to the Hulk one as well, right? Once again, probably not the biggest deal in the world, right? When it comes to Hulks, you know, you had Hulk mains kind of like being like, oh, this probably isn't good, right? And then over time, Hulk mains were like, okay, yeah, we're back to normal, right? Even though you look at that and you're like, okay, not the biggest thing in the world, still communicate that, right? Things have to be communicated at this point. And if you're not communicating, you're just going to piss your player base off because they have to go and figure out what's been changing. And that's not cool. That's not fair. And that's not their jobs, frankly. That's not the community's jobs, right? Um, You know, you shouldn't have to have a community member go in there and try and figure out every single change that's been made to the game because your patch notes aren't clear. They aren't detailed. They aren't well thought out, right? Instead of doing this very stability and improvement bullshit, put something in the patch notes that is very substantial so players can understand what is exactly going on. And that's what it comes down to, right? So once again, three school of thoughts. First one is, we do a bunch of damage as it is, so tacking on Surge change probably isn't the biggest deal in the world. Second school of thought is that right now, players have been accustomed and used to what tacking on Surge was doing since last October, so maybe there should have been some communication there about kind of potential changes to tacking on Surge so players can understand that while they do enjoy what they have now, it's not the intended effect. And the third school of thought is, Patch notes and communication need to be better when it comes to changing stuff within the game. You can't expect your community to be CSI and to figure this stuff out for themselves. And that's really what it comes down to, you guys. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time here on the channel. My name's been High Ruler. Later, guys.